We talked about those tens of thousands of people from the Northwest Territories all heading south, scattered primarily across Alberta. The province has really opened its doors in the last 10 days to evacuees. For some, though, it's been close to two weeks since they had to get out. You can imagine frustrating, stressful. City of Edmonton has welcomed a lot of people. That's where we find CTV's Nicole Lamp outside of an evacuation center. Nicole. Many of them are worried. We spoke with one evacuee who has been in Edmonton for about two weeks now, and she says she is extremely worried that she may not have a home to go home to. So she is keeping a close eye on what is happening in Hay River. As you mentioned earlier, uh, it's roughly about one kilometer away from the center of the town. Officials, uh, you know, posting overnight that uh, firefighters are working shoulder to sh shoulder trying to protect the community. There is a heat warning in place for parts of the Northwest Territories, including Hay River. So that is a concern. The heat plus the extreme dry conditions, uh, you know, will, you know, create uh, potentially significant fire activity today. Uh, in the latest post from the Wildfire Agency of the Northwest Territories, it says that the fire uh, did cross the highway last night. They know of at least two cabins as well as a uh, travel trailer that has burned down um, and they will be doing a assessments overnight so we're waiting to hear an update in regards to that because there were some areas uh, where there was some intense fire yesterday but there was poor visibility so we're, it's you know a wait and see in terms of uh, what has happening or what is happening in Hay River. All right Nicole Lampa thanks for that Nicole.